figure as a company, you acquire more data. We shared a huge amount of data as a fingerprint on a regular basis. Our customers give a lot of data. You get to a point where you realize, how am I gonna bring all this together? How am I gonna manage this? Data intelligence for me means you can actually use data in a way that means you can predict and forecast what's gonna happen in the future. We wanna be able to make that real time. That's when it becomes truly intelligent. Data is effectively your digital goal. And that it is the most valuable asset that you have within your company. Uh, and you need to protect it with everything that you have. One of the applications in AI that I'm particularly interested in is to make sure that you have a personal attendant available to you. Often we go on a vacation and say, oh, she, I, I need a pool for the kids. And I've forgotten about activities for them. Having someone look at the data of what you need and then saying, you need a nice restaurant and you need someone that sits six. So let's go and find somewhere that sits six people for a booking. The first one, expect failure regularly. And failure isn't failure uh, when it comes to AI. Failure is the opportunity to learn and readdress the situation. It is learning, it's relearning, it's tuning and fine tuning. The second tip that I would say to, to leaders out there is, make sure that you can manage change effectively in your organization because change will happen far quicker and a lot of people will not be ready for the rate at which you can affect change in your organization. The final thing I would say is understand where your data is and make sure that you govern it, you manage it, you control it, uh, and you can visualize what's happening. Data, in, especially in large organizations, it is so widespread everywhere, you don't know what's going on with your data. Bad data will give you really bad outcomes.